Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and in today's video I am doing a review, a full review of the Bear Baby Food Maker. It's a one step baby food processor, steamer, puree, blender, etc, etc. I, as you guys know, I mentioned this before that my baby during the time of recording is was just about three months and she has been showing signs that she is ready to eat table food so I am trying to go back to my roots <laughs> the start of the channel and make baby food from scratch I have been researching baby food makers and I initially I thought that I was gonna just purchase the baby biaba everyone talks about it it seems pretty popular and so I was getting ready to purchase it. And then I came across this bear food processor, baby food maker, I should say. And I just checked out the reviews and I absolutely was blown away by what it offered. And so, yes. So in today's video, I want to talk a little bit more about this uh, food maker. I want to show you guys, um, I think on the menu today i'm going to be making sweet potatoes and also applesauce so um, stay tuned if you are new to my channel which many of you guys will be welcome my name is tanya i'm a mommy of a three month old and also a set of twins and so yeah here we go so what's included in this food baker is this i believe it's about a four ounce um blender basket which is really easy to open as you can see um the blade which was very impressive one of the features that really really um why i purchased it over the baby biaba was that it had came with four blades instead of two blades which was to me seemed a bit more powerful i mean i don't know i'm not a tech person or whatever but as you can see it just seems like it would get the job done they also show you a max line of how how you should be able to add the food and whatnot. Um, to the left is where you pour in the water. So what you would do then is pour, I believe, purified water, I think uh, the instruction said, into the reservoir. Dump in your fruits, vegetables, or even raw meats, guys. It takes raw meat um, in the basket slash blender and you just let it rip. I was also very impressed with the fact that this food processor is touchscreen. It has a menu feature. You choose the item that you're making, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it on so you guys can see. Bright LED screen. One of the biggest reasons why I purchased this item was compared to the Baby Biaba. And I'm going to say Baby Biaba um, because that's the item that I was really looking into was the fact that this item, it does everything all in one, guys. All in one. So you just, all you do is pour your water in, throw the items in, and single button, and you're done. So I'm going to go ahead and show you. I'm going to go ahead and peel the fruits and vegetables, guys. Uh, stay tuned. Check it out. Let me know what you think. And yeah.
is the result very very great it looks like it's fully cooked I'm gonna taste it mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. that is delicious oh, oh. oh yeah very good I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and jar these Hold on, let me grab the jar. So I found these really cute 4.4 ounce jars on Amazon. And I'm gonna go ahead and jar these. I'm gonna do, I'm probably gonna do a second batch because I really wanna show you guys what I mean by how to set it up. Um, here's um, round two. Oh, yep. stow away. Um, I went ahead and diced it, the one inch as required. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pour in the water. There's still some water from before, so better bing, better boom, but I have it here. I'm gonna go ahead and fill it to the max line. Bam. Sorry. Go ahead and tighten this. Okay, we're gonna put the top on. See, you have to match the with the down turn. Okay, so this is what I wanted to show you guys before. So you would then turn it on. You would then hit function. This is a sweet potato. We going in for with 20 minutes. You're gonna then hit the veggie button again until it stops blinking and you're gonna let it rip. So this is the part that I was a little confused about because I did it, but since I didn't see anything happen, I was kind of concerned. But according to the instructions, it said has no fear. And once this, you see that um, it stopped blinking, then you know that it is, um, set so you can kind of hear you can kind of hear it doing something and yeah after you can see the time now is 19 minutes it's perfect so that means we're in good shape we're gonna I have to mention another cool feature about this baby food maker is that this doubles as a bottle warmer and a def uh, I, think it, I think it can fit also to defrost the food, I think. If I'm not mistaken, I saw that on the instructions guide. Okay, perfect. So I was trying to get the last two minutes to show you all how it automatically blends, but uh, baby girl was crying, so I missed it. My bad, y'all. Um, but this is what it looks like. It will blend on its own, which is great, sorry. Um, and here's the... The results so is pretty hot, so you gotta be very careful when you do, do this. And uh, the sweet potatoes. This was two medium sweet potatoes in a 4.4 ounce double bolted glass jar. So it was perfect. I'm just letting it cool here. So and here's the second half. I'm just gonna go ahead and make some applesauce now. I promise I'm not gonna be much longer, guys. I know this is a pretty long video, but I really wanted to really highlight some of the features about this baby food processor, which I totally think is worth it. I forgot to mention that when I ordered it on Amazon, initially it was $99, but I think I got it at the for, I think I purchased it for $59. So just be on the lookout for that. Amazon is pretty cool about having additional, you know, 15 to 20% off. So um, I will tag this item in my subscription as well as the glass baby food jars. Okay, so once it's done, it makes this beep. Let me you know. That's it. And here it is. Woo, hot, 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 y'all. Here's the applesauce. Just have to take this out, this blade part out, just like you would the normal food processor. It's very important. Uh, there's also a clean feature. I have not been doing, I have not been washing it through the clean feature on the on the machine. And I've just been sort of rinsing it by hand. When it's all said and done, we can take a look at that together. Um, but again, so far I am pretty darn impressed by this little thing. Let's see if the applesauce. I lied. This is going to be the last step. <laughs> and it's to show you guys the clean feature on this machine, which is pretty cool. So according to the instructions, 
um, you just want to dump in some of, uh, I have baby water here, but I'm assuming it's going to be, have to be like filtered water in the basket itself. And there is a clean feature. You go ahead and just press it right here in the menu bar and it starts doing this thing. I believe it's a total of 10 minutes where it just sort of switches around. Uh, one thing I did notice is that it didn't ask to put any soap or anything like that. So what I think I'm going to end up doing is after it does that, I'm going to go ahead and, you know, sort of wash it down with a little soapy water. Maybe the baby's bottle soap. Yeah, more than likely. Um, just to give it a third old clean. It says that you should always hang it to dry upside down. Um, just being cautious to keep the blade protected at all times, guys. You know, eventually the blades usually do, does get a little dull. So just keep that in mind. So there it is. That's it.